I'm Washayla Sananda. Thank you for joining me today. And here in the United States, it is Thanksgiving week. So for starters, I just want to say how grateful I am for you. So this week, I am offering a lot of great like super reduced prices on the best work that I have available, um, courses and breath work and even a retreat coming up. And I'll talk about that in the end. So if that's something that interests you, be sure and tune in all the way to the end. But today, what I really want to talk about is something that people have been asking me a lot, whether it's clients or followers or um, people that comment on the emails I send out. And this is around what is happening in the world and what is going on with the Earth's ascension, what is going on with all of the chaos that we're experiencing globally, and how that's affecting the individual people. Um, so for starters, this ties in so well with the work that I that I offer through embodied ascension training, because what's happening is a global um, chaotic, you know, like shadow work process. The whole earth is in her shadow work. So um, if you've been following me for any time, you might know that I teach embodied ascension training. And the first, one of the first things we do in embodied ascension is learn how to clear shadow work because there's this saying, you might not like it. There's a saying that goes new level, new devil. And really how that plays out in ascension is when you reach a higher level, a higher frequency, you're embodying more light, you're embodying more of your divine presence you also have this new, it's so you've reached a new level, you have this new layer of shadow work that has to be cleared in order for you to maintain that level of frequency, that level of beingness, that level of presence, that level of light in your body. You must clear a new layer of shadow every time you level up because you would have been at that level if you had already done that shadow work. So I hear this a lot where people say, but I've already done that shadow work. Oh, I've already done so much shadow work. I'm good. Well, yeah, okay, sure. You were good for the level that you reached when you did that shadow work. And now you're saying you wanna continue, you wanna level up. You want to reach a new level of ascension in body, which is a new layer, a new um, expansion, then you are going to need to do a new layer of shadow work as well. And so this is why shadow work is so important and not to get stuck in it, not to get too worried about it. Like I even try and make it fun to clear shadow work because it's um, it's ongoing. It's just an ongoing process. It's part of being human. If you're telling me, oh, I don't have any shadow work to do, I'm done. Well, then that just means you're stagnant. And maybe that's okay. Maybe that's where you want to be. Maybe that's where you're meant to be. That's fine. But if you're telling me you want to level up, which most people that are following me are on an ascension path, which means leveling up their frequency, leveling up their embodiment of divine presence, that means you you must be willing to do the shadow work that goes along with that level up, okay? So how does this tie into what's going on on the planet? The planet, Gaia, Mother Earth, is ascending. She is in her ascension process now. And so we, as the people that are on the planet, we are part of her body. We are part of her. So as just it's as above, so below, just like we must release these layers of chaotic energy, these lower frequency um, programs from our physical body, the earth also must release the lower programs from her physical body, which we are on and we are a part of. So all of the societal constructs that are lower frequency are being revealed. All of the things that were previously unseen, unnoticed, um, not getting any attention are coming to the forefront and more and more and more humanity, more and more people are witnessing that and becoming aware, becoming awakened to, oh, something isn't working here. Something isn't 
isn't lining up, something's not quite right, we have some work to do to level up here. And other people are going to say, oh, I'm perfectly happy with the way things are. These are probably not people that are, that are working on their ascension or ascending with Mother Earth. And that is not an insult. Not everybody's going to, not everybody wants to. It's not even the right time for everyone. So there's no judgment in that, okay? And so this is also a place to be careful about name calling, to be careful about saying, oh, those people are this or those people are that. Just avoid that altogether because we are all <clears throat> a global community and we we will all ascend eventually okay some people are not here for that this time many 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 people are here for that this time and so wherever someone's at that's their choice they get to choose people wake up when they wake up people choose the ascension path when they're ready if someone that's not ready and not interested um if, if you're trying to coax or persuade or somehow um manipulate someone into stepping onto that path that's not going to serve their highest good because that might not be their path that might not be in their highest good so just to be aware of that um sometimes bringing awareness will wake someone else up and it's just to be careful not to like push and persuade and manipulate because then you're entering into a karmic relationship which may have to be played out later in another life and let's just avoid karmic relationships altogether right um because on an ascension path we're looking for relationships that are really about our highest good about collectively and globally expanding about um a greater embodiment of the divine and in a highest you know high frequency the embodiment we're never trying to manipulate or um, tell others what to do it's not about power over which we're seeing playing out right now in the grand scheme of the world politics um, that's all about power over other people but that is not in alignment with the ascension so those constructs will have to fall away and granted they'll always be playing out in on some level particularly in 3d but in in the higher frequency realities in 5d and higher those types of power over are not going to be compatible they are not compatible with higher frequency society so it's actually very exciting because these things are happening. It's playing out. This is the ascension. This is the earth ascending. This is what we came here for. Star seeds, those of us who, um, who came here to really help in this process to be light workers. Also, of course, many, many earth beings, um, many native peoples have been waiting and prophesying this time for, you know, many, 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 decades, hundreds of years, maybe thousands of years. Um, so this is exciting. And what I can speak into around that is to keep doing your shadow work processing. I do have some support material for that. If you have my book, The Love You Crave, of course, in Ascension Alchemy and Connection to the Divine, that takes you through shadow work processing. Also, there is along with that book you get some online meditations a link to these meditations and one of those is releasing thoughts from the body so in the releasing thoughts from the body it's these you know negative thoughts or traumatic experiences they start out as in our pattern like disruptors in our in our patterns the patterns that inform our bodies that inform us and have us become eventually physical so as we you know hold on to these traumatic patterns without releasing them they densify and densify and densify until they become physical in the body creating disease such as tumors or um, could start out as cysts and become you know cancerous or things like that also all disease starts as a disruption in the pattern so it's releasing thoughts from the body is actually if you've already got them in the body it's releasing them from the physicality but it's if you hopefully you can catch many of these as they show up before they become 
that dense and let them go before they disrupt the physical body. And this is totally possible. It's quantum. Um, it works multidimensionally. So as the earth is ascending, there will be lots and lots and lots of shadow work that she's doing there will be lots of shadow work that we as individuals are doing but the great news is as we're doing that as we're leveling up as we're letting that shadow work go we're releasing layers and layers and layers of density which has us step into a higher frequency experience of living on the planet and so what that means is you've heard me say this before um the layers layers of dimensions are what well, the dimensions are layered so the dimensions are not like okay over there in some other realm is 5d and over here is 3d it's they're actually layered on top of each other um, all of the dimensions are layered so we can travel back and forth we can be in 3d we can go through some um lower frequency experiences we can get stuck right and then we can ascend come up out of it and realize oh you know what i'm ready to let that go ready to clear that we can let something go we can open up we can do um practices like breath work are great for this move that energy dancing too so good yoga tai chi all these things that help us let go of um of, of stored energy that's not for the highest good and then we step into our higher embodiment so as the earth is doing it of course we're doing it too and it's this global process so i really want to encourage you to do your shadow work we're going to be around you know especially for the holidays around more family family tends to trigger us um, maybe you're going to see old friends or old lovers or you know old relationships different people from your past over the holidays and just remember to be generous and open and allow yourself to experience what you're experiencing allow yourself to feel what you're feeling and then acknowledge it and if it's something you know it's ready to clear ready to be let go of then let yourself do that clearing and have fun with it and and i know it sounds funny but yes have fun with it enjoy it let yourself be light in the releasing process in the clearing process knowing that oh it's so worth it because this helps me step into a higher version of myself maybe instead of fighting with family members that you have fight, fought with in the past or had altercations with maybe you can find common ground maybe you can ask questions and find where are we connected you know maybe you have some memories together from childhood that that you can reminisce um, about or you know just find the things like there might be more that you're that you have in common than you've ever realized because you weren't looking for it because you were paying attention to the things that you didn't have in common which so often happens um, particularly in politics and religion and you know things like that so um, another aspect of this is as we're stepping into this holiday season and as we're letting go of our shadow work and as we're witnessing what's going on in the world as the earth is going through her ascension process i am statements are very very powerful so um statements like i am connected to my divine presence i am ascending i am choosing the highest path i trust myself i am you know whatever you you get to fill it in we can go on and on and on and i also invite you to notice there's a piece of homework that goes along with this to notice when you do these i am statements for instance i am prosperous or i am prosperity is a good one to start with um, when you say that notice is there a little chatter going on in the back of your mind that says uh wait a minute no i'm not i'm just trying to get my bills paid and you know this happened and that happened is that chatter happening because if it is that's great to notice it that's just pointing you in the direction of oh there's what i get to clear in order to truly claim i am prosperous and mean it wholeheartedly um and and then be that so the reason that a lot of times these i am statements or manifestation techniques don't work is because they trigger that shadow that's actually working great you want to trigger the shadow so you 
you can recognize it, become aware of it, and then clear it. And as you clear it, then you get to step into that higher version, that ascended version of yourself. So it's all for a purpose and it's all worth it because it's wonderful to be able to let go of those past traumas and dense feelings that we hold on to um, just because we don't know how to release oftentimes when we're younger. So if this sounds good to you, if you'd like support in this realm of work, this is what I'm all about. This is what Embodied Ascension training is all about. And this week, I invite you to get on my email list. I will link that below. I am sending out um, multiple offers. Um, I sent out a breathwork offer, the lowest price I've ever offered, 10 breathwork um courses that I've recorded that are available to you that'll get you through years of breath work um, that I just released yesterday. And tomorrow I'll be releasing the Ascension Training Foundations and Body Ascension Foundations um, Masterclass at an extreme discount, um, just, just available for about three days. And then I have a couple other goodies coming, coming. And another one that I have coming up is I'm doing a New Year's retreat. It's going to be amazing with um, a couple of wonderful practitioners. Heidi Syme and Jeremy Hill will be joining me for actual embodiment practices. And um, and we get to create our, our new year together. So I'm calling it New Year, New Earth, New You online retreat. So watch for that. I'm going to send out a special pre-registration deal for that. That is a paid retreat, but I'm going to make it very, very accessible. Um, so watch for that around Black Friday and jump in with us. We're going to have so much fun. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for watching. I invite you to subscribe, to give a thumbs up, like this video, and then head into the comments section. Let me know what, you know, what are you working on as we're moving into the holiday season and the new year? What's getting triggered for you and what are you ready to clear in your life? Let me know that in the comments section and I'll see you in the next video. Namaste.